over to Tokyo, where South African swimmer Tatiana Skumaka smashed one of swimming's longest standing world records as she took victory in the 200 meters breaststroke. The 24 year old surged away from American duo Lily King and Annie Lazar to become the first female swimmer to dip under 2 minutes and 19 seconds for a 200 meter breaststroke. Her time of 2 minutes, 18.95 seconds, beat the record of Denmark's Ricky Moller Pedersen, who swam 2 minutes, 19.11 seconds in the semi-finals of the 2019 World Aquatics Championships in Barcelona. No, I feel like it really hasn't sunk in yet. We were even saying before the medals, like, did we just swim? <laughs> the whole process went really quick. Um, so, yeah, I feel I was very excited to finally also finish my individual races and I'm excited to go home and celebrate just like being at the Olympics um, with my family and stuff. So, um, yeah, I think it will kick in when I get home, probably. Well, let's get more on that. Adam Hunt joins us live from Tokyo with the latest. Adam, it's been an interesting Olympics so far. We've seen Africans win surprise medals in swimming, taekwondo and surfing. What does this then mean for the continent? Oh, it's huge news, Mahia, because these are events that African athletes have not traditionally been associated with success in. You mentioned swimming, taekwondo, surfing there, events that have never been particularly popular for youngsters in Africa to take part in. Um, African athletes have never really focused on these events uh, from a young age compared to you know, the athletics, for example, football and some of the other events that have a lot of role models for young athletes in Africa to look up to and then want to follow in their footsteps to potentially compete here at an Olympic Games. And that then has a knock-on effect on so many different things. It has an effect on the funding, the availability of facilities for particular sports, um, doctors, training sessions, things like that, even travel, uh, because it's harder for those athletes to be involved in more minor sports in Africa when compared to athletics or, or football, for example. And that can have a, a big impact in medals that are won in the future. So this could be a, a bit of a seminal moment for those lesser known sports in Africa with the success that those athletes are having uh, here at the Games to inspire the next generation to perhaps choose to compete in something different and then potentially have success in Olympic Games. Right, Adam, and track and field events start today. What then can Africa expect in the second week of Tokyo 2020? Oh, we've got so much to look forward to, Mahia, when the track and field takes place in this amazing stadium uh, behind me. It's a bit of a shame it's not going to be packed out. 65,000 is the capacity. Well over a billion dollars was spent redeveloping it for these games, specifically here in Tokyo. It won't be full, but the athletes will be in there. Watch out for your huge uh, Fabrice Zango from Burkina Faso. He was the flag bearer for Burkina Faso inside this stadium for the Olympic uh, opening ceremony a few days ago. And he's got a great opportunity. Burkina Burkina Faso have never won a gold medal in his event in the triple jump. Uh, he holds the world record at the moment. And the other thing working in his favor is Christian Taylor, the American, who is arguably the world's best when it comes to triple jump. He's not here at the Olympics because he's uh, carrying an injury. So that's a, a great opportunity for huge Fabrice Zango. We can't talk about athletics without speaking about Eliud Kipchoge, the superstar from Kenya in the marathon. He is hoping to become the first double marathon champion since 1964, which is when we last had the Olympics here in Tokyo. Uh, Faith, keep you going in the women's 1500. She's aiming to do a similar thing to Kipchoge, again hoping to become only the second athlete to defend the title in Olympics uh, history and she has got a great opportunity and just finally uh, watch out for Akani Simbini who is the fastest man in Africa he'll be hoping to make it through to the finals in the 100 meters in the men's he finished fifth in Rio which was not good enough by his own admission uh, for him he'll be hoping to win a medal and he is in good form having recorded a time of 9.84 seconds in a warm-up meeting before coming to Tokyo in Hungary so he's got a great chance